आऊज़बिल्शैतरजीम बसमीम रबली सदरी वसरली अमरी वाहलानी यफ़ा कौली आमीन असलकुम डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड डूइंग वेल दिस इज़ मी योर इस्लामिक स्टडीज़ टीचर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर नेक्स्ट लेसन फ्राम आर फाइनल टर्म सिलेबस and this is unit number 30 let's find more about this unit let's start our lesson unit number 30 and the name of this lesson is women and in islam and the main points which we will discuss the very first thing is introduction of the unit as uh, students you know and as the name of this uh, lesson is showing its uh, subject its topic that in this lesson we are going to learn about the status of women in islam we will learn that uh, what kind of dignity and importance and respect our beautiful religion islam gives us as a woman so this lesson is all about the status of women in islam then we will start reading of the unit and this is from your textbook page number 103 and 104 then explanation and then we will do exercise a and so on then there will be homework for you women in islam so the very first point is women in medieval times means what was the condition of women in the middle age or in the early times many societies have uh, practiced female infanticide means the killing of the newborn it was the practiced among many societies and uh, as uh, it was practiced by the romans until the 4th century that they regarded romans regarded women as a slave and then the greeks considered women as a commodity means that uh, could be bought and sold and uh, then christian societies tended to see a uh, woman responsible for mankind's departure from paradise she was a real devil an enemy of peace a cause of disputes from whom men must hold apart this was the uh, thinking of christian societies and uh, then in france towards the end of the 6th century a meeting was held to decide that whether women could truly be considered a human being or not then what was the condition of women in asia in india in the middle ages means in the country of india in the middle ages it was customary it was a custom that for a widow to be burned alive to death on her husband's funeral pyre and a custom that continued to some extent into the 20th century and uh, those who escaped their terrible fate were not allowed to remarry they lived as slave maids of the brothers of their husbands or their other male next of uh, kins and uh, then in china women were subject to obedience women were subject to obedience the son to the sons when we do it and women also had their feet bounded from childhood and uh, this practice continued until the early years of 20th century and uh, now we will learn about that what uh, about the condition of the women in arabia before islam so the next point is women in arabia before islam and uh, the lot of women was extremely deplorable in pre islamic arabia deplorable means that they were shameful and they were disgraceful and uh, the right of inheritance was denied to them means they didn't have any share in the family inheritance and uh, it was customary for the eldest son to take as wives his father's widows together with other property this was the condition of the women in pre islamic arabia and also women were discriminated even in the matter of food men reserving certain dishes for themselves only means women were not allowed to eat 
those dishes which were reserved to men only and girl children were buried alive at birth and they had been recorded as an economic burden means they considered women as a economic burden and several incidents of this nature were, were narrated sorrowfully uh, by the companions of the prophet muhammad peace and blessings of uh, allah be upon him and uh, if we keep this background in mind and uh, we consider this uh, we consider the position of women in islam and uh, so then we will realize that islam realize islam released women from slavery honored her and protected her and also this beautiful religion our beautiful religion in islam improved her position in a number of ways so students the next point is the quran defines women's role and uh, the very first point for this the quran gave protection to women how it forbade the custom of killing unwanted infant girls as we learned earlier that it was the bedouin custom that they killed the unwanted infant girls bedouin means the nomadic people of deserts they were used to to kill infant girls as they considered them the economic burden and also it gave means the islam gave women a share in family inheritance in the 7th century uh, and european women had to wait until the 19th century before they gained legal rights over their own property then another um, right uh, a divorced woman could keep her dower and she was entitled to support from her husband and also she could marry again and also it was quite possible for an unhappy wife to get a divorce from her husband and uh, this kind of uh, marriage such a dissolution uh, dissolution of marriage uh, at the wife's instance is called hola and uh, then from series an incident which is mentioned in your textbook page number 104 that it is recorded in hadith that the wife of sabit ibn kais allah be pleased with him jamila allah be pleased with her came to allah's messenger peace and blessings of allah be upon him and demanded a divorce from her husband on the ground that in spite of his fine character and behavior and uh, she disliked him as she would dislike falling into unbelief after having accepted islam thereupon allah's messenger peace and blessings of allah be upon him commanded that she would return to sabit the garden which he had given her as her mehr at the time of her wedding and ordered that the marriage should be dissolved then students the next point is different but complementary roles means different roles men and women different roles but their roles are complementary that islam holds uh, women in high esteem islam give a great respect to women the quran regards men and women as equal in personal and also in basic values but they have different functions that are complementary women is the masterpiece of allah's creation subhanallah women is that creation into whose delicate hands is the future of the world entrusted interested the real foundation of women's dignity is the same as that of men both are equally liable to fall into wicked ways and equally capable of following the right path and uh, then both are equal in worth but different in certain qualities in their roles and the path of progress is open to both alike and uh, the reward for achieving it is the same for both means there is no difference in the reward that the men are getting more reward than the women no in some things men excel women while in other women surpass men each of the five pillars of islam like faith salah fasting zakah and the hajj is as important for women as for men and there is no discrimination in this regard how beautiful our religion is alhamdulillah we all are muslims
so students now we are moving to the next point of this video which is your homework okay so students here is uh, your homework read unit number 30 especially page number 100 and 103 and 104 and uh, then do activity A, questions and answers, and question number one to question number six, as these questions are related to this reading, which we have just done this in this video. And inshallah, we are going to explain this uh, lesson, and we are going to discuss this lesson in our Zoom classes also. So inshallah, you will be able to do this activity A. Then do these questions and answers on your uh, niche notebooks, and then learn them. Then make 10 MCQs from this unit S students when you will read this unit number 30 then you will be able to do this activity making 10 mcqs from this unit and also when you will uh, read this uh, lesson again and again inshallah it will help your reading skill and inshallah you will understand the lesson very well so uh, this was the first part of our unit number 30 inshallah in the next week we will discuss rest of the points from this lesson Thank you very much dear students, take very good care of yourself, Allah Hafiz.